All right, so what you need for tonight's notes is your composition notebook for notes and a pen or pencil to write with. All right, we're going to be talking about word problem equations. So remember to pause the video whenever you need to and also to make sure you take great notes for tomorrow. Okay, first things first, you do not need to write out this whole problem. All we're looking for is the equation and also how you are solving the problem. Okay, so let's suppose that it costs a flat fee of $50 a summer to go to the swimming pool. In addition, it costs $2 per visit each time you swim. How would you write this as an equation where X would be the number of times you swim and Y would be your total cost? So feel free to pause this video if you need to reread this problem to yourself. Okay, so what is this question asking you? We're looking for how we're going to write an equation where X would be the number of times you swim and Y would be your total cost. Okay, so you know we're going to be setting up, up an equation and we want to know first how much is it going to cost for your flat fee. So if we go back up to the problem, look for where it has the cost of the flat fee. Right, it's $50. Okay, so how much does it cost per visit each time you swim? Correct, it's $2 times the number of times you swim. So X is going to be the number of times you swim, and 2, we're multiplying it because it says 2 per visit. So X is the visit, and $2 is per visit, so 2X. So let's put those together. All right, we have $50 plus 2X because we're combining the flat fee and the number of visits times the $2. So what does that equal? This is going to equal our total cost. So remember, if we look back at, at the equation, we know that y is going to be the total cost. So your equation is going to be written as y equals $50 plus 2x. So how much would it cost to go swimming for one day? If x represents the number of visits, wouldn't that be the same thing for days? So. We're going to plug in, we have y equals 50, and please excuse my handwriting, I am so sorry, I'm a lefty and I'm using my right hand, 50 plus 2 times the number of visit or the number of day. So what is our total cost going to be? If y represents the total of cost, what's our answer? Correct, $52. Okay, so now I want you to try two days. Go ahead and work this out and see what you get. Did you get 54? Because if you did, that's right. All right, now try four days. Go ahead and pause the video and work it out. Awesome, I bet you got 58. All right, now let's try 10 days. Go ahead and pause the video and work this one out. Awesome, $70 is our total cost. Let's try one more, how about zero days? Correct, $50, because we have two times zero. So 50 plus zero is zero. All right, good job. Let's try another one. Okay, it costs a flat fee of $20 plus $5 per day to rent a pressure washer. How would you write that as an equation where X is the number of days you want to rent it and Y is your total cost? All right, so remember if you need to pause it and reread it, go for it. So what is this question really asking you? What are we looking for? You see, we're looking for X, which ha is the number of days, and we're looking for Y, which is the total cost. So this one is similar to our last problem. Um, but this time we're having a flat fee of $20 plus an additional $5 per day. So how do you think we would write this? Go ahead and pause the video and I want to see what you write down. All right, so we have the flat fee plus the $5 per day. So we should have $20 plus 5X. So Y, our total cost, equals $20 plus 5X. Remember, the 
our variables are y and x. So y is always going to be, the, it's always going to equal y. So how much would it cost to rent for one day? Go ahead and pause the video and work it out. All right, so we have y. We're looking for the number, we have to plug in the number of days. So if we look back up here, it says where x is the number of days. So we know x is going to be our number of days. So we, how many days do we have? One. So we have y equals 20 plus 5 times 1 for one day. So what is our total cost? Right. If you got $25, you are correct. And be sure to put the dollar sign because we're looking for a cost. Okay. So try it for two days. What do you get? $30. Good job. How about for five days? Go ahead and pause the video and work it out. $45. Awesome. How about for eight days? $65. Good job, guys. All right. Pretty simple, right? I think you are all getting the hang of it. Let's try another one. A membership to a club costs $99 plus $41 per month. We're going to write an equation where X is the, is the months and Y is the total cost. Go ahead and try and write this one out on your own. I want to see how you do. So make sure you pause the video and work it out. All right, so if you got y equals 99 plus 41 times x, you are on the right track. All right, so we have, we're looking for x is the months and y is the total cost. So the total cost is y. So y is always going to be where the equal sign is. So y equals, we are always having y equals. y equals 99 plus, hint, hint, $41 per month. So when it says per, we're multiplying. So 41 times X is the months, so times X. Awesome job. Okay, so how much would it be to go to the club for one month? All right, remember that X is the number of months. So make sure to pause the video and work it out. Awesome, did you get 140? Great. What about six months? Make sure you're working these out in your notes because we are going to check over this. Awesome. You got 345. Great job. How about for a year? Go ahead and pause the video and work this one out. All right. So for this one, we have y equals 99 plus 41, and how many months do we put in here? How many months are in a year? Awesome, 12 months. So what is our answer? $591 for our total cost. Awesome job, guys. All right, how about for zero months? Great, $99 because 41 times zero months is zero. All right, so now this one I want you to do on your own and bring it in tomorrow. A machine salesperson earns a base salary of $40,000 plus a commission of $300 for every machine he sells. Write an equation where X is the number of machines. Write an equation where X is the number of machines he sells and Y is the total cost. So remember to realize what we're looking for. We're writing an equation where X is the number of machines that he sells and Y is the total cost. So how much would he make if he sells one machine? How about for five machines? Ten machines? Zero machines? All right, so make sure you work this one out and bring it into class. Don't forget to show your work for all of these problems. Have a great rest of your day or night.